This is your computer with internet access and this is your smartphone which you also want to connect to the internet. Sometimes you can only connect to the internet one device at a time. To avoid paying for two connections, you prioritize your computer. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share internet from your Windows laptop to your smartphone. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. On your Windows computer, click on Windows Start, then type Settings. Click on this first result option where you have at the top settings and then below system. Now here on the left side, click on network and internet. Then on the right side, look for mobile hotspot, which is this option down here. Click there. And this will open all the options related to the mobile hotspot. Right here at the top, you have mobile hotspot. And on the right side, you can see that it is set to off. If you tap here once, you will turn this option on. Below, you have the option to select which internet connection you want to share. At this stage, I'm connected to the internet through a Wi-Fi connection. This is why this option is grayed out and I cannot change the selection. If I had both Wi-Fi and cable connection, I will have the option to select which internet connection I want to share from. Going down, we have share over option. If you look on the right side, you can see that mine is set to Wi-Fi. If you click on this small arrow, it will bring another option. In this case, I have Bluetooth. So you can see here that I can share internet through Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. In my case, I have mine always set to Wi-Fi. Lastly, we have properties. This is where you will set up your hotspot name, password and network band. If you don't see all these options here below properties, what you have to do is click here on properties to expand. Often it will appear like this. What you have to do is just tap here on properties and it will expand. Or you can just click on this small arrow. For example, in this case, it is expanded. So if I click, it will collapse. And if I click again, it will expand. So you can see all these options. We can edit all these options here. To do that, click on edit. Right here at the top, you can change the name of your mobile hotspot. I'm just going to delete Wilson here. I'll set this one just mobile hotspot. Down below, you have network password. Give a password to your network. Mine is one to nine, but don't use this password. Anyone can crack it. So just think a little bit and decide on a fair complex password. Below, you have network band. Mine is set to any available, but if I click on this arrow, you can see that I have the option to select 2.4 or five gigahertz. I like to set mine to any available because any device can connect to this network. Device able to connect to 2.4 as well as device able to connect to 5G. So I have mine set to any available. Once you've made all the configurations that you want, you can save it, start sharing your internet. If you go back here at the top where we have mobile hotspot, you can see that mine is set off. So I'm going to tap again to set it on. Once you tap on it, you will see that one of the options that appears is power saving. So I have mine set to on, but you can also set this one to off. Mine is set to on because if I don't have any device connected to the hotspot, I want my mobile hotspot to turn it off so it will not consume a lot of battery. So you can do the same or you can set it off. But in my case, I'll set this one to on. Down here on properties, where you have set all your configurations, you can see below that you have devices connected 0 of 8. For your computer, you might have a different number, but it shows how many devices can be connected to this hotspot at the same time. In my case, 8 devices can be connected to the hotspot at the same time. Now I'm going to use my smartphone to connect to this hotspot. I have now my smartphone connected to this hotspot. And you can see here below where we have devices connected, one of eight. And down here you have more details like device name, IP address, and physical address. In this first row, you have the details of the device connected to this hotspot. Well, everyone, this is how you configure mobile hotspot on Windows 11. Once you've done with all of this configuration, if you want to enable your hotspot, you don't need to come here to the settings every time you need to do that. The quick way to enable mobile hotspot is by going to the system tray on your computer, right here, where you have the Wi-Fi icon. 
click there it will bring this windows dialog box so right here you have all these toggles but none of this is related to mobile hotspot so what you have to do is on this far right side you have these two dots and then this small arrow click on this arrow to take you to the next page and you will see here the mobile hotspot icon to enable what you have to do is just click on this and it will enable you will see here that you have zero of eight device connected to your mobile hotspot which is the, the name of the mobile hotspot and you can see here inside the windows mobile hotspot settings that the mobile hotspot is also enabled and down here where you have device connected you see that it's zero of eight if you want to disable you can do the same thing here through here just click again on this icon and it will disable you'll see that inside here the mobile hotspot is also disconnected well everyone this is how you configure mobile hotspot on windows 11 and how you can quickly enable and disable your mobile hotspot if you found this video helpful like it share it and subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next one have a good day